Well, welcome to a very special edition of Raven's Heart. I have one of our co-hosts with us tonight, Jermaine, as you see down in the corner, Maine, the Woo! lead singer, and he's the front man for the band Tricord, and we've got the link for Tricord down in the description of this video. Jermaine, how you doing, man? Man, can't complain, Glenn. I'm so pumped up to be on here. It's always a joy to, to, to come on Lithos crowd, man. You're You're fun. Thank you. We're going to have a good time tonight. And what we're going to do is we're going to react to a video and a song that just came out from one of the former lead singers of Nightwish, Annette Olsen. Uh-oh. Yeah. You see, I, got, I brought Jermaine on here. I didn't even tell him what we were doing or what we were reviewing. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he, he's, he's reacting already we haven't even started annette if you're watching you've already tickled we call jermaine bubbles that's his nickname around here <laughs> jermaine are you ready to have your mind blown i don't think i'm ready for this first of all i'm in love with nightwish so this is about to be so cool i'm too thrilled <laughs> I'm already excited. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go ahead and get started. This is a new song she just released a couple days ago entitled Heed the Call. This is Annette Olsen. <laughs>
Jermaine. What are your thoughts, brother? <laughs> what? What? You just disappeared. What? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what? Dude. Dude. <laughs> Holy crap. Yo, man, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That is this what you is just so- saw and what you just heard. That is right. what you just saw and what you just heard. We have yeah. here, th- this is not a song that's being released. This is a prophetess arising is what's that happening. That is exactly, wow. Wow. <laughs> that's some stronger word than I hear in a lot of churches today. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you, man. Dude, she was... Holy crap. Yep. Woo! Spot on. Spot, Spot on. I love the way that song begins. It so, starts so epic. It's like, you know, that, that orchestra in the background. It's like, I've got something to say, and it's really important, and you need to listen to me. And I love the way she's doing this and the timing of this, because when I say Annette Olsen, everybody thinks, oh, yeah, Nightwish. And I've read some articles on this new release, and they start out with the release, and then they talk about her time with Nightwish. We need to stop doing that and start recognizing Annette for Annette and what she's mm-hmm. doing. And Nightwish gave her the platform, and right, right now she's using that platform very well. And if she continues with that level of boldness, God's going to open up some doors that she's never imagined before. Dude. If she's titling that album Rapture, oh my God, like, dude, that is fire. Like, I agree with you. Annette is on point. She is a prophetess who's using her platform to, dude, okay, so my understanding, uh, I've been messing around with uh, Nightwish for, I don't know, since 2008 or nine, maybe, uh, maybe mm-hmm. even sooner, maybe even sooner. I was in high school. I remember that. Uh, okay. And dude, they've always to me, uh, because from my understanding, uh, what's his name? The guy vocalist in the band that plays bass, Marco. Uh, yeah, he has uh, you know, like a Christian background or and stuff like that. So like he he at least writes like a song or two per album that has to do with you know like Christianity and and giving homage to the Lord. But like, dude, oh my God. Okay, so. Probably my favorite song back when she was in the band is Meadows mm-hmm. of Heaven. And so like that? <laughs> Meadows of Heaven was always it, it always resonated with me in a deep place, even when I wasn't even walking with the Lord, man. And wow. so so yeah, I know, right? I wasn't walking <laughs> with the Lord during that time period, man. And and that song always hit me and stuck with me. As a matter of fact, that's part of one of those songs that uh ended up being part of my testimony of the night that I like gave myself back to the Lord and stuff, man. Wow. So I didn't know a lot of Christian music. So that was about the only thing. <laughs> so she's had, she's had an impact on your life already. Yeah, man, definitely dude. Like, Oh my gosh. Hearing this song gets me even more pumped up. Oh my God. <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait to hear the rest of the album. I really can't, you know, dude. and what she did, what she did. I mean, that was bold. Right. There is no, there right. is no question, <laughs> no question about what you. I love it. Right, right, about the two and a half minute mark, and that's her son, I believe, that's in there doing the Lord's prayer. It's like, okay, if you don't get what I'm talking about here, uh, I'm going to make it very clear. Here's, here's the Lord's prayer. I'm going to take this right out, right out of scripture. So it's very clear. The graphics in the video make it very clear what she's talking about, and really, it's a warning. And one of the things that I find very interesting is how she says, humans, you've all been warned. She detaches herself. And what I see happening there is she's actually being used as that vessel, as a conduit where the Lord is yeah. speaking right directly through her to us mm-hmm. as a yeah, prophet. Man, I, I, I literally have just like, have had conversations with people in the last several days and talking about the same thing. They're like, And, you know, you hear it, you've probably heard it your whole entire life about, you know, the Lord's coming, the Lord's coming, or he's closer than before, he's closer than before. But I'm I'm always thinking in my brain, especially when I hear somebody, you know, say that, like, that we really are probably, like, right at the precipice of him coming, dude, because it's just sign after sign after sign, uh, prophecy after prophecy after prophecy. 
It's just all happening and unfolding and being revealed. Dude, she even talks about those prophecies in the song. (laughs) Yeah, she does. You know, that's a very interesting point because when you take a look at music and you take a look at the history of modern contemporary rock music, let's go back to the 1970s. We had Godspell, which had some great songs that were very anointed in it. Uh, We also had Debbie Boone with you light up my life that and that was something that went mainstream but those songs were very different different they were not about the the wrath of god they were not about the coming judgment it was more of that deeper more intimate relationship with the lord and these songs that i'm hearing about judgment coming especially she's using metal what metals used is supposed to be used for i mean that is the perfect platform for is for the prophetic utterances of what's coming and, and what's ahead she uses it very very well and when you hear that we need to actually heed the call. I heap, I hope I heap. I hope that people that are listening to this song that it sinks in because she has a very important message. And as you said, I can't wait to hear the rest of the album entitled Rapture. Oh yeah. Dude, man. Oh my gosh. I'm glad you didn't like tell me what this is all about. <laughs> the name alone got me excited. So <laughs> I knew it was exactly. going. Oh, God, dude, that's so so good, man. We, there's so many meat and potatoes in this whole entire song. Um, I, I was trying to like keep mental notes and stuff as the song was playing and everything. Man, uh, the coolest one I thought was they mentioned the four horsemen of the apocalypse in this thing, and the yes. way she, the way it was done was real sly. <laughs> that was that was sly. I had to sit. I was thinking about that. I was like. When as I was prepare, preparing for this, I was like, "Oh, wait a minute! That's the four horsemen of the apocalypse." Okay, I get it. Yeah, and, yeah. yeah man, so many cool <laughs> I mean, we could probably go for an hour just talking about playing that song and breaking down each verse and stuff, man. That oh, we so could. Incredible. We could do a whole. We could do a whole seminar on that entire song because it's just one <laughs> thing packed after another, and it just flows so easily. It's just so Absolutely. beautifully done. Man, we really do need to hear the call, man. I I try to always keep in mind, I don't want to be one of the servants that celebs stand weren't burning, just like that parable that Jesus had talk, talked about with the 10, the 10 bridesmaids, five were burning, yes. five were not, and they missed it. They missed the bridegroom when he came through in the middle of the night. And uh, man, dude, it's imperative. We, we have to get to a place. I've had this conversation for the last couple of weeks with saved and unsaved people, actually, is we mm-hmm. need to get to a place where we stop sugarcoating things and just be raw and just honest and loving to people uh, and just yeah. tell them, like, yo, listen, man, like, uh, bump what you hear. Like, Jesus is real. What he came to do, he came to do it for you. Um, preaching, preaching the actual gospel, man, the gospel yeah. message, and and making sure people understand the gospel message, man. Now, and people are hungry, dude. I yep, I had a, a mess, I had a message from uh, this is a, a cool testimony to me. I had a message the other day from somebody who um, is super dear to my heart, who doesn't follow the Lord, and then they reached out to me asking me questions about the Lord and about Scripture and stuff. And I'm like, dude, that's what it's about. I was like, there are people that are hungry for answers. That are people are hungry yes. for truth. Yes. Not everybody's all about this mindset of entitlement and and this mindset of uh, you offend me, you offend me, you offend me. Some people, some people want to know why, like, yes. and want to know how you know people are hungry for truth you just gotta keep we we gotta stop wussyfooting it and and tell people truth (laughs) yeah and 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 that's exactly the point is unfortunately as as a whole i'm not saying that every believer is like this but as a whole the body of christ has been kind of withholding the truth and that's why we've got all of this ridiculousness that's going out there and everybody's confused because that clear clarion call (laughs) To heed the call has not been going out, and look who is at the forefront of it, Annette Olsen. Yeah, I love it. (laughs) God is just flooring me with everything that He's doing in these in these last days, and the Bible makes it so very clear. Joel chapter two and Acts chapter two that He will pour out His Spirit on all flesh. Yes, that's not just. 
a, a believer, it's those that don't believe either. He's oh, going to yeah. pour out his spirit upon them. And we're going to start hearing his voice from some very unusual places because he wants people to be saved. He wants people set free. He wants them to escape the wrath to come. And that's the other thing that I love about this. And I think we'll leave it at this. You know, when I say Jesus, a lot of times that evokes and very properly so evokes the um, vision of the gentle shepherd, the lamb. Well, we're getting past that point. When he comes back, he's not coming back as the lamb. He's coming back, my friends, as the lion of the lion tribe of, of Judah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, man. Yep, Jermaine. He's coming, he's coming back yeah. with a sword, baby. He's not yes, coming he is. back. He ain't coming, no, back he with a, he's coming back with a sword. <laughs> He is. He's coming back with a sword to execute vengeance upon all those who rejected the free gift of salvation. That's there right. is truth. And for those that are watching, that are listening, please take what Annette has said to heart and heed the call. Look around you. The signs are all over the place. You can't miss them. And if you don't believe, just ask God, hey, I don't believe. Just tell him, I don't believe. Show me. And you know what? He generally shows up if oh, you yeah. ask him. Oh, yeah. He's very faithful to do that. Very faithful. Jermaine, that's about all we've got for tonight. I wanted to keep this one short uh, and, and to the point. But thank you so much for your reaction. You started reacting before we even started. Because, <laughs> <laughs> man, I told you it was the name alone that got me, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey so everybody cool. we'll be we'll be back again real soon until then peace out and rock on lithoscry.com